Yes, in this video, we are going to see uh, shift left register. So, left register. That is, the data will be shifted like this in this left direction. So, first, let us take the JK flip flop. Uh, here, we are going to use four bit shifter. So, I am taking four flip flop where each flip flop is able to store one bit of information. Since it is a four bit shift left register, I'm taking four flip flop. So now what we have to do is we have to uh, connect the thing up properly. First we will connect it the clock signal. So where is the clock? Clock is here. You can find it under the wiring. So take that to the clock signal. So all the flip-flops are now connected with the clock. Now the clear, we have to connect it to the clear. So for that, we can add a button input output. Then this is the clear uh, pin in each flip-flop. So it is one, two, three. The last one is a clear button, clear pin. So that that is connected with the Clear button. So when you press this, whatever data return that will be cleared, and it is ready for accepting the new input. So now, uh, first we have given the clock signal, then the button, clear button. Now we have to connect J and K appropriately. So how you can connect? This Q has to be connected with the previous flip flop J, as we are going to shift left. So connect it. Q to be connected to the previous J. See to that uh, you are not mixing up with the line. Yes, now this Q is connected to the previous J. Same way, Q to J, Q to J. Now, where we will give input in this first J. Okay. So, here, same way for K. Yeah. In shift right register, you will give here input so that the data is shifted right. Here, you will be giving the input in that. This way so that it is shifted left. So, now, we'll take this. First, let us uh, change the direction to west. Input. Okay, now this is J and this is K. Now, uh, J, Q connection is over. Now, K and uh, Q bar has to be connected. So, how the same way how we have given connection, the same way here we have to give. This Q bar has to be connected to this K previous K, same way all the other flips also. Yes, now it is connected. So this Q bar to the previous K, same way. This Q bar to the previous K and so on. So how you have connected this Q to the previous J, like that. Now, now it is, uh, we have to give, we have to see the output. In order to see the output, we, we can connect it or directly also we can check. So let me connect it. This Q. Because the Q where we get the output. So I have made a mistake. This is the Q. Okay. Q will be our output now with the LED. See the output. Yes. Now this is uh, connection is over. Now we are going to check. We are ready for checking. 
uh, first let me give one one for the system. now we have to see how this one is first yes see when i press this during the rising edge the data is entered into the first day now again i press second day because this whatever one it is transferred here this one is coming here now i am changing this data to zero now we will see see uh, sorry since i have not changed this so it is made in previous state so now zero and one so k i have to give one in order for this zero to enter now i'll enter see this zero is entered and one is all now i say let us say this data we are going to ship this data so first let me clear this see when i press this button all the data are clear now we are going to send this so i will start from here one okay one and here let me change it to zero so now yes one is entered now the next next one again you just press we got no need to change already it is one now zero when i give want to give zero here i have to make it as one j zero k one now i press see one one zero this is shifted now i want to give another one so here i change this one and zero now see one one zero one the data has been shifted from one bit this bit is first sent then this bit then this bit and then this bit now it is storing one one zero one 